What's up creatives, welcome to the Tiffy Show. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to read candlesticks. If you haven't, make sure that you turn on notifications so that you know when I post a video. I like to post about lifestyle, dating, traveling, investing, and everything in between. So if that's your jam, hit subscribe and let's get to it. Quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. These are just my thoughts and opinions. Take them with a grain of salt. How I read candlesticks. This is a bit more advanced in terms of investing, but I think it's very important because as a beginner, I think that you can grasp it and utilize this in your investing strategy. Now, I have just recently in the last few years gotten more interested in swing trading. And so I use candlesticks when I really wanna get a deep dive into a stock that I'm interested in swing trading, but you can also use it in investing. And I'm going to break it down in the most simplified way possible to really have you grasp how to read a candlestick. When you see them for the first time, they can be super overwhelming and I just don't want you to not even give them a chance because of that. When you are analyzing a chart for the first time, you're probably used to seeing the line chart, which I love and still use. It's usually the default in any stock brokerage website that you're using or even TradingView, which I love to use for analyzing stocks. And with TradingView, you can change from a line chart to a candlestick chart. Candlesticks give you the direction of the market, whether it's moving up or down. This is the price action. They help you determine the possible price movements based on the past. So what the stock did in the past, it puts into consideration and gives you what it could do in the future. When you get really into candlesticks, you're gonna learn that they can show you trends, patterns, and reversals. But we're just gonna keep that in the back pocket because I'm just gonna show you the simplified how to read them. So a candlestick is made up of a body and two wicks. Candlesticks show price points, open, close, high, and low. Candlesticks can be filled or red, which shows that the close was lower than the open. A red candlestick generally means going down. So on a line chart, you would see the line going down. Now with an empty candlestick or a green candlestick, it means that the close was higher than the open. So a green candlestick is good and means that it's moving up in an upward trend. On a line chart, you would see the line moving up. I personally just like to look at candles as green or red. That's mostly how I've seen candlesticks and that's how I show them on my trading view, though you can on trading view show the candles as empty or filled. I just like the green and red. It's just like a natural response, like green means go, red means no. You know what I'm saying? So that's an easy way for you to remember them too. And another quick tidbit for reading these, which I thought was awesome, and so easy and simple was that when you're reading a green candlestick, you're reading the top part of the box because it's like a rectangle. So you're reading the top part. When you're reading a red one, you're reading the bottom. So that's just an easy way because it's not just like a line chart where you're just looking at how it's moving like down. You're gonna read the top of a green and the bottom of a red. Now, the little pieces that you see coming out of the bottom of the candlestick and the top of the candlestick are called wicks or shadows. Hence, they look like a candle. So the top one means that it hit that high price and then it settled down. So that's the highest price that it hit for that moment. Now the bottom, it means that's the lowest price that it hit for that moment and then it settled. So those are just the highest and lowest points that it hit in that time frame. So when you have candlesticks, you can set them to be daily, monthly, weekly, however you want, depending on how you invest. A candlestick can stand for a day or can stand for a week. It's dependent on how you create your chart and how you make it. The wick means that it hit that number, but it's not necessarily where the stock started or finished. If the upper wick on a down candle or a red candle is short, that means the open of the day was near the high of the day. If the upper wick on a up candle or a green candle is short, it means the close of the day was near the high of the day. For my chart, I like to use the monthly or weekly chart, but if you're a day trader, you're probably going to want to use the daily chart or even by the minute chart. So it just depends, as I mentioned, how you want to view the market and how you are investing. You'll see that candlesticks can be better than line charts just because they show more information visually and the price action of a stock. Now that you see how candlesticks work and how to read them, you can use them to see if there's a bullish pattern or a bearish pattern. And a bullish pattern just means that there's an uptrend and it's likely to keep going up. And a bearish pattern means it's likely to keep going down. 
Now this video was just to tell you guys how to read the candlesticks. In a future video, I will go over what patterns to look for when you are looking at these candlesticks. But if you decide that you wanna do a deep dive into candlesticks and you like it way more than reading a line chart, here are some patterns I think that you should look up if you decide that you really, really just enjoy a good candlestick. The bullish rising three pattern, the shooting star pattern, and engulfing patterns. And that should be great in just getting you started with how to read candlestick patterns. Comes to patterns, remember that there's a whole lot of different patterns and there's no guarantees when you're using these patterns of which way the market's gonna go. It's just another tool for your toolbox in analyzing the market and the trends. So I don't want you to think, if I use this pattern, I'm going to get rich. No, it's just showing you different ways that you can analyze stocks that you're interested in investing in. So with candlestick patterns, you don't even have to use them if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable using them. Don't feel that if you're not using them that you're not gonna be great at investing because you can still be a wonderful investor using the line chart. So this is just another way to tackle investing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and comment. Comment below and let me know if you like candlesticks or if you just want to stick with a line chart and I will see you next time. Stay creative.